All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video now. Today, it's early. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's like 5 a.m. or something along those hours. I'm not even sure, to be honest. I don't wanna know, but I'm going away today. I'm going, uh, I'm at Heathrow now, and I'm going on a plane to Bosnia. Well, I'm going on two planes, actually, because there isn't a direct flight, and I'm being taken out there by the Copper 90 guys. They're taking me out there to see this big football derby, which I'm looking forward to doing, and I'm going out with, with uh, Ellie Mengham, who's the presenter of one of their shows. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Right, we've arrived in Bosnia. I should say Bosnia and Herzegovina, really, because that's the proper name of the country. But no one ever says it. And we're looking for a cab now at the airport. Looks a very nice country, I have to say, from uh, for first impressions. Nice weather today. The game that's happening tomorrow is literally like the biggest game in like 30 years. It's the two guys are playing for the title. They're also local derbies. It's like Man U and Man City having a game at the end of the season to decide who wins the title. <laughs> Cab driver's an angry, angry woman. Shut! See? Look at her! She's a nutter! She's a nutter! Right, I think it's right. Shut it! No, right, right! No! No? <laughs> Love! You know! Yes? Oh, okay, sorry. Look at that view. Lovely. We're off to do some filming with these three mugs. Ellie, say hello. Right, guys. You need to check out this guy's videos on Copper 90. Pretty good football world. How do you describe what you do, mate? We tell the fan stories. Instead of the players, we focus on what goes on in the terraces. No one does it better. What are we doing right now? We're going to the stadium, is it? FK Sarajevo Stadium. We're going to the stadium of where the game is tomorrow. Exactly. Empty stadium today, obviously. Check it out. Not bad. Let's have a look at the view. That is Sarajevo. Behind me, apparently in a minute, a guy who's a fan of uh, Sarajevo is going to come in with his girlfriend who's a fan of the rival team, right? They both sit opposite ends of the stadium, but he's going to come in tonight on the pitch and he's going to propose to her, like Romeo and Juliet, two competing families. So, I mean, hopefully she says yes, or else it's going to be very awkward considering we're going to film it. There they are, like, he's got flowers. She's still blindfolded. Oh, look, 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 look it's fireworks. <laughs> that is wicked. She's taking, her, she's taking her thing off. Yes, she's down on one knee. Whee! She said yes. I'm pretty confident she said yes. Oh, she said no, and he won't let her go. We're sitting on the bench now. We couldn't decide whether to go on the home bench or the away bench, so we're sitting on the ref's bench. Got to be neutral. Got to be, got to be, got to be neutral, yeah. The life of a journalist. Official uh, cutting edge journalist that we are. Now this here is called a Sarajevo Rose, and it symbolizes, there's a lot of them around the city, and it symbolizes where people were killed in the war. And uh, if you look up, you can see all the bullet holes people were shot so in this very spot someone was shot there's a few of them scattered around Sarajevo and uh, look at this is this is a cathedral look at all those bullet marks it's crazy isn't it It's a bullet hole? Yes. Oh my god. So she's like a scrapbook of the history of the club. Good picture, that. Huh? Yeah, it's a really good picture. This is pictures from the derby in 1978, the same one that's going to happen today. Bridge up here, this is the famous bridge, where uh, World War One. This is, this, this is the reason World War One happened on this bridge. Oh, well, the Franz Ferdinand Franz stuff. Franz Ferdinand was assassinated on that bridge there. Wow. There's a massive group of Sarajevo fans behind me. They're going to march to the stadium. I'm marching in front of them because basically they don't like to be filmed. These guys are like the ultras. And they don't want their faces caught on camera because they might get up to no good. It's all kicking off, boys. It's all kicking off. We're going gorilla. We're running on the side streets. Good space. Oh my god. Trying to get in front of them. I feel like we're in the war zone. The 
police are lined up here, they're going to stop them going through this road. Stand off. Right, I'm in the stadium now, I've got my special orange bib on. I'm pretty much allowed to do whatever I want. I'm on the running track, that is the pitch. You can see the fans are already crowded in there. The game's gonna kick off in about half an hour. The stadium's not full yet, but it's getting that way. This is gonna be lively. This is one of those stadiums where there's nets up to stop people throwing stuff because yeah, they like to do that sometimes. And uh, it's gonna be a ridiculous atmosphere. I don't know what's gonna happen. Basically, if either team win, they've got a massive chance of winning the league and they hate each other anyway. It's like Manchester United and Manchester City playing together nearly the end of the uh, season for the title. It's a huge match and the atmosphere is going to be electric. And I'm wearing a beautiful orange bib and I've got my little lanyard as well. What's more to want from life? <laughs> That's the match ball. They're going to play with that ball in about 10 minutes. Right, where are we? Uh, for the first time ever, we are actually in the tunnel. We're about to go out with the players. I've never seen this. The ref is actually hurrying up the home team. This is how it happens. This is insane. the opposing team, the opposing fans, to try and get in their head. It's all over, nil-nil, draw, Sarajevo looking good for the league title. Just to show you how far those flares went, this is the pitch, there's a flare mark there. Look, another one here, almost to the penalty spot. Okay guys, that is it. The game is over. We're on the pitch just walking around and uh, I thought it was, well, the game was pretty awful really. There wasn't many chances, but the atmosphere was pretty sensational. Do it again? I'd come again. I'd definitely come again. All of you out he's, there watching. He's, he's been twice. Yeah, and I would come again. So if you're out there and you want a completely different footballing experience, please visit the Balkans because their passion far outweighs the football on the, on the pitch at least anyway. You've been watching my video and that's great, but we've made another video for Cobra 90 while we've been here, which you should go and check out. Um, obviously, we've, we've, we've interviewed people. We've seen some of the people that organise those sort of crazy things that happen during the game. So make sure you watch it. Also, I think there's a chance for you to win a shirt for, for either side, Sarajevo, and uh, Jello, depending on what way you swing. So make sure you check it out. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these sort of videos. And I'm gonna leave you now with a quick clip from the Copper 90 video that you can go and check out. And obviously there's a link in the description. I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing.